Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the importance of initial value checkbox while creating the table. Suppose when we created the order header table or whenever we created the order item table, whenever you are creating a table, we have a particular column for initial values. We have a checkbox for the initial values. Means for a particular field or column of the table, we can select this particular checkbox initial value. What is the significance of this initial value? Whenever you will select the initial value checkbox for a particular field. SAP will automatically assign a initial value to that particular field. Or the best word I will say, SAP will by default assign a type dependent initial value to that particular field. Why I'm saying type dependent? Suppose order number is a numeric field. So if SAP is assigning a initial value, so what is the type dependent initial value? It will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Suppose I'm saying payment mode. Payment mode is of character type. So it means if SAP is assigning a initial value to that particular field, so what will be the initial value as it is not a numeric field? So initial value will be space. So whenever you are selecting the checkbox initial value, so SAP will assign a not null value to that particular field. Now, how you can check what is the value which SAP assigned to that particular field? You can simply, simply go to your utilities database object display. And you need to refer two columns here, not null and default. Now you can see what is the default value for order number 10 zeros. What is the default value for order date 8 zeros. What is the default value for delivery number again zeros. If you see your payment mode value is space by default value is space. If you see your delivery location value is space. Now the question comes everyone will ask you only only check the initial value to MA and DT and order number. Why why the default value is coming for each and every field. Now this is the important point. Now the concept or whatever the databases are coming, it is a inbuilt feature of that those databases. You are checking or not checking this particular checkbox. It is a inbuilt feature in the database that they will automatically assign a type dependent value to that particular field. Suppose in this case, my database is HANA. So it is a inbuilt feature itself. I'm selecting or not selecting this particular checkbox. SAP will automatically assign a not null value to that particular field type dependent not null value to that particular field. You can check in your system. Suppose if you are using some traditional database, suppose MySQL or any other database, it might be the case your behavior is as you are expecting. If you are selecting the initial value checkbox, so in that case, if you will go only the default value is for those things, others will be blank. But now it's a inbuilt feature of the databases itself. You are checking or not checking system will automatically assign a default value. Now, 
we will come on to this not null not null field whenever you can simply understand if you are assigning a default value to that particular field it means the not null flag will be true because there is a initial value present it means that the that the field is not null so particular not null flag will be set to true on the database i will read the theory then i will go for the practical that in which scenario you are you have to take care for this particular thing if i will read the theory we can select the initial value checkbox then the type dependent not null value sap will assign a type dependent not null value and the flag of not null will be set to true you can see the flag of not null is set to true on the database now how you can check you can go to utilities database object display utilities database object display you can check by this path you need to refer not null column and default okay now many databases will simply initialize the value of field as not null just now we discussed it is a inbuilt features now in the databases you are selecting or not selecting initial value checkbox system will automatically initialize system will automatically assign a not null value now we will see the practical part and this is a very silly thing which many people are doing and because of that their output is not coming suppose what i will do for the best understanding suppose i will add a column to the table i am adding a column to the table suppose my name of the column is new underscore one you can give any name now suppose i will use the existing data element itself i will not go for new data element suppose i am adding a new field to the table i am activating the table now you can see i have not selected the initial value checkbox but if i will go for utilities database object display you can see sap automatically selected the not null checkbox and the default value is space because my database is hana and it's a inbuilt feature of the database itself yes in your system the behavior might be different so please check in your respective database now what i will do we will check in the we will create a program and you will automatically understand why this is most important suppose i am creating a test program i will click on to create button suppose i will create some program to check the significance of initial values and this will make a sense while doing the coding suppose i am declaring one internal table i am writing suppose select star from order header table suppose i am selecting all the columns into table i am storing into internal table where 
now suppose if i am writing where new underscore one is null just think is this query will return any result it will not return any result because based upon your understanding you will think i have not given any value to that new underscore one column so value of that column is null so if you will write this query you will get the expected result but that is not the case in this case whenever you created a field sap automatically assigned a default null default not null value to that particular field suppose if i will show you the result you will not get any record in this table any record just see i will show you in that debugging mode if i am running i'll go to desktop 3 if i will go for execute you can see size sub rc4 and internal table is blank now this is very important point and many people did this kind of mistake now suppose i will simply simply write select from the table where new underscore one is not null is not null means just check the default value of that particular thing is space space or you can go by this way also you can write the query like this also you can write where new underscore one is equal to space you can go by now if i will show you the result in that debugging mode both of these queries will give the result you can go by this way or you can go by this way suppose if i will run the program and show you the output most important thing and this is the silly mistake which maximum people are doing suppose if i will execute first query you can see no result but if i will go for second query result now you can see we have five records in the internal table because the value of that column is not null by default not null now if i will go for second thing this query will also give the right result so just check how your database is behaving based upon that you can try the practical and you can understand the significance of initial values check so what is the summary of the topic whenever you are creating a table there is a check box for initial value so sap will or sap will assign a not null value to that particular field if you are selecting this check box but now it is that trend is all databases if you are selecting or not selecting sap will assign a or that database will automatically initialize the value as not null you can check in the whenever you want to check you can simply simply go to sc11 and you can check what is the default value to that particular field and is that not null not null check box is true or not and you can do the practical you can write a program and you can check the significance of the result so that's it in this particular video thank you